Welcome back to Down to the Frame 2022. This is our first project of 2022. What we're doing here is, as you can see, kind of did a little side project. I didn't film this one for you guys, but if you've been following the Instagram, you've been seeing some updates. So I'm in here with Sam, who is a lifelong friend, and he's a ex-plumber. So he's helping me install a dishwasher, or I should say plumb it. I'm an apprentice electrician now, so I wired it myself, but there's a bit of an issue. Usually when you install a dishwasher, you put it near a sink. So normally your water and drain lines would be coming through the cabinet because you know you have your water and your drain already going to your sink. Right. So you just drill holes in your cabinet and then you would hook it up to your dishwasher. It would be like right here. The dishwasher would be here mm -hmm. and it would yeah. go to that. But because we added this whole section, let me back up and show you guys. This whole section here is new. Um, I'll put a picture right after this of what it used to be. We brought it forward, put a door in here, and now it's a closet and that goes into my basement. So the issue is we gotta get plumbing to it. Now it's not any different to plumb this when it's away from the sink, right? You really just have to find a way to get this drain line into some part of the drainage system. Yeah, so basically it's, you know, you just still need your water and your and your drain, but we're gonna have to do some, you know, some fancy stuff to get <laughs> it to get it over there rather than, you know, just going straight into the sink like you normally would. Right. So we've already done one thing and then I was like, we should record this. We drilled a hole and that's gonna be the hole for the drain line down in. We still have to drill another hole for the water line coming mm -hmm. up, but that's gonna be a smaller hole. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm doing two different holes is because I don't want a ton of air and space for bugs and stuff so i'll probably end up caulking around this once we get everything in place i'll show let's go grab the parts and uh, i'll show you guys what we have all right so this is mostly all the drainage parts right here what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna interrupt where the sink line comes in so the sink line i think is an inch and a half and we have a bunch of inch and a half fittings here the sink drain comes through here and 90s down a little bit right around here somewhere in the basement so what we're gonna do is we're going to interrupt that 90 put on a Y and then a 30 I believe 45, 45. 45. okay and then <laughs> this little thing this is what's gonna I got this on Amazon but this has the connection for the actual drain line but because the top was open I thought okay well why don't we put one of these on now, I'm going to let Sam explain exactly what a Studer mini vent is and why you would need it. So, most of the time when you're going to be installing one of those, usually it's because it wasn't vented properly to begin with the entire house. You know, mm. you'll, you'll have a main three or four inch pipe going from your drain in the basement. It'll go all the way up and usually through your roof. Which I have. Right. So, sometimes they're not sized properly. Sometimes your fixture is too far away for it to work properly. Sometimes you'll have too many fixtures on the same line. There's a lot of different reasons why it wouldn't work properly. And it is pretty common, especially in older houses, that things won't be vented properly. So, kind of a, you know, cheap fix, uh, not really a banded because they do work pretty well, is you can add these near any fixture that isn't draining well uh, due to the venting. This is more of, well, it's a precaution, right? Like adding yeah. this is not going to hurt. No, it's not gonna hurt anything. These also you can act, can act as a, a easy access into the pipe as well for snaking. Yeah. So they kind of work as a clean out too. All right, and this is gonna be our approach to getting water, not only to the dishwasher, but to the fridge. This is actually a really cool fitting we found at Home Depot, and it is a two different size shutoff valve, T shutoff. We're gonna shark bite T into the main three quarter line that's down there, and then we're gonna take this half inch line and go from the T here to the T there, and that's how we're gonna get water. Now that everything has been explained to you guys, let's get down to the frame. <laughs> <laughs> all right so before we go jump in the basement we're just gonna finish drilling i kind of started it already but this is our drain line right here that's a one inch uh, hole that we use the spade bit for and this is a three quarter for the water feed line oh. <laughs> i was expecting more material to be there but i did most of the drilling already i guess Whirlpool was kind enough to put this little loop in. Do not disconnect the loop. It also says somewhere on here, don't touch the loop. It should be right there. Yeah, so this loop essentially keeps a little bit of water in the line 
to prevent any sewer gases from coming back into the machine and then into your house and then into your nose and you know it's not good so keep this here and we actually have an extension pipe that will crimp onto this that'll go into the basement and then we'll send this down as well and then we'll go in the basement and show you how all of these are going to get connected. This spot might look familiar to you guys. It's where we did our insulation video. Sam has identified where we poked down through. And would you look at that? Right there. Right next to the, the pipe. So what we're thinking is we might not even need all these extension pieces. We could literally just go right in there. It's a gas line with a big old crimp in it. <laughs> I don't even think we're going to put the shooter vent in, to be honest with you. I mean, yeah, height-wise, dude, we're going to run out of height real quick. I thought, honestly, I didn't come down here and, like, double-check everything. Yeah. And <clears throat> you can see that, like, we could just do that. Oh, yeah, 100%. You got to think, if you put the Y there, the 45, that, the male adapter, and then the shooter vent, you're going to be in the first <laughs> insulation. <laughs> yeah. Nice this is how you get rid of uh, cobwebs. <laughs> Okay, so what we decided to do is just put this right into this 90 because it's so close. Run with that. If we don't, we're not gonna have all the Struder, the Studer vent and everything, but. The Studer vent's not 100% uh, necessary. It was just more of a why not kind of thing, you know? Right. Right now we're just marking the pipe and then we'll cut it with the Sawzall and we'll ream it and then prime it and PVC glue it. So what I might have you do, get ready to, I mean, it's not gonna fall or anything, but just get ready to support this. Okay. Cause it's gonna be flapping in the breeze. There's really nothing holding it. Once it's cut through, you don't want it to move. You know, don't pull it down, don't twist it. Just try to kind of hold it right where it is right now. Right. Nice blade on this thing. It's a little gross in there. Oh yeah. But clear. Yeah, it's not bad. So when you're cutting these, you want to make sure, or when you're cutting PVC, you want to make sure you get all these little flakes off the pipe before you do anything else. Which we have this thing. <laughs> okay, <right. laughs> Stay back. That's good. <laughs> I get all of it. Look at it. Uh, reaming is more important on metal pipe because you don't want the metal shavings. The plastic stuff, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter as much. Plus the PVC glue is going to melt it. Yeah, I just want to make sure we have enough uh, play in the pipe to be able to get it in. Yeah, I might have to cut a little more off. You don't want to cut too much off because then it'll start messing with the pitch. Is there such thing as too great of a pitch? Yeah. You don't want to pitch in too much. Not you want to you want a quarter inch per foot, I believe, is what code says. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Take your primer. This is just to clean up the pipe and the fittings. So you want to primer the pipe and the fitting. And then once those are primed, you sometimes you need to... There's a light bulb there. Was. Okay, so now that your uh, pipe and fittings are nice and primed up, you're gonna get your glue. You get your glue. Get some glue on the fitting. So this stuff sets pretty fast. Oh, pulling right towards it? Yeah, probably. So you always want to give her a good twist. Gets the air bubbles out. Yeah. And then you kind of want to apply pressure because sometimes if you let go, it'll... Some hydraulic pressure will... Yeah, it'll like separate, that. yeah. So you kind of want to just hold it, uh, hold it together for a few seconds while it dries. That's five eighths, this is one inch. I'm wondering if we should... That's, that might be too big to cut it down because that's kind of loose on yeah. there. You can cut these back yeah. for different sizes. Sometimes they'll even have like three or four different sizes and you just cut it back. Sam's going to be using a poly cutter to cut this from a one inch down to five eighths because a nipple that's on that piece is a little bit bigger. Beautiful. Bam. I hope this isn't too small. Oh boy. That's so dumb. Why did I go from one inch to five eighths? Probably the two most common sizes. Okay, so hold on to that then. Mm -hmm. See, we're problem solving right now, folks. So we got this Everbuilt kit from Home Depot. Uh, it's a little bit of a bigger diameter pipe. So we really should see if it even fits through the hole we drilled, but. I mean, this should. This we can probably squeeze through if we have to. Yeah. I bought my dishwasher from Best Buy. 
and they give uh well this pipe came in the dishwasher itself but it only went from one inch to five eighths this one actually has one inch three quarter and five eighths so that gives us a little bit more working room and that should fit on this nipple which is apparently a three quarter the only issue is that this pipe came with a nice piece that is barbed and ready to go into the coupling the female section of the pipe uh whereas that one has two female sections so so yeah upstairs we can do something like you know that, yeah that basically so this has two different sizes on the tip so the bigger end is for the dishwasher smaller end is for it says sink end you know like we said earlier normally you'd be doing this under a sink right um so the sink end is for the smaller end so we're gonna use the smaller end on the barb down here and we're probably yeah we're gonna have to cut it down to three quarter using the poly cutter again little challenges that always come up from doing projects yeah beautiful now i just need to uh, take that apart and put a clamp on it <laughs> 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 mm, yeah it's not really tight around it so we're gonna have to use the hose clamps which is fine so you want to try to get it on the barbs as far as you can i put this on there a little too tight i gotta loosen it a little bit Spin it to make it accessible. These don't have to be super tight. You do want them nice and snug. If you go too tight, you'll uh, strip out the uh, the threading inside the, the nut there. Okay, now we just gotta get it through the insulation. Might have been easier to put that down through. Cause this, that would have fit through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> wanna take it off? <laughs> and we don't. We really don't wanna- Cut that. Until we know what's, what right. it's going up into, you know? Okay, here's the nut driver. <laughs> All right. We'll leave this part out of the video. <laughs> All right, so we're actually gonna take this off so we can go upstairs and push it through because our hole is a lot smaller than this side and we don't wanna cut this side. Oh, hold up. Wait, wait, wait. Push it. Not too hard though, just lightly. Push, 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 push. Perfect. Okay, so now we got our pipe. So now we're gonna take it, we're gonna connect it to our Y. And there's your PVC drain hookup. All right, so, <laughs> aliens. <laughs> now that we got that hooked up, and it looks pretty good actually, I'll give you guys a close up here. I'll take you off the pod here. It's basically like it was made to, for this. <laughs> like, it, it really came together quite nicely. And we'll be able to return some of the stuff that we bought and save a little money. Let's get some uh, water to the, to the dishwasher now. This one's a gate valve. That one is also a gate valve. Gate valves usually don't last very long. <laughs> but we have two of them here. So if one of them doesn't work, both of them should. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Together. You always want to be real careful when you're touching these old gate valves. You want to go slow, use as little force as you possibly can. So yeah, once you get your main off, you want to open pretty much every faucet, uh, every every fixture that you can in the house. So, so that way you get as much water and pressure out of the system as you can before you open your pipes in the wa in the in the basement. Otherwise, you get soaked. And no water. Awesome. All right, so all the faucets are on. Nothing's coming out. Let's just drain this line. So since all the faucets are open, we now have a vent. There's no longer a vacuum. So all the water that's coming out right now is basically just coming from the pipes going to the faucets, you know, just draining all that water down. Yeah, so it looks like that... Uh bottom valve was leaking so we ended up shutting off the top one so to get these out you see this little piece sticking out yeah you need to push that in okay so basically there's like some metal barbs in there that grab onto the pipe so yeah. you can't pull it out this will kind of push the barbs in so they're not grabbing onto the pipe that can take some force you'll usually hear it like hear or feel it go in <sighs> all right i think we just might cut it you gotta be real careful with this old polybutylene Oh sh Sam, that's ass. And time to go to Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I picked this up. I was like, this thing's awful. <laughs> Double check. <laughs> Measure <What's>... twice, cut <laughs> once. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually we bought a three-quarter inch T fitting, and this is half-inch pipe. So, uh, we gotta go to Home Depot real quick. Be back. And we're back, look at this. This is the half inch by half inch by half inch by half inch fitting here. So now we can put this back together. <laughs> so when you're putting these shark bites together, kind of feel them lock in. You want to make sure that it's in there all the way. Otherwise it's going to leak. Ooh, yeah, that's a good positive connection. Mm-hmm. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Whoa, okay, it went in. I think so. <laughs> My shoulders hurt. I'm getting, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's it. So now that that's on, a little lightheaded. <laughs> use some rigid PEX valve that we're gonna use right here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the valve on the end of this piece of pipe, and then I'm just gonna hold it up there. It doesn't have to be, you know, any specific length. So wherever it looks good, I'm just gonna cut it and put it together. And we should close them. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so I know we have more quarter inch line to play with, so I'm gonna put the quarter inch on good. this side. Yeah. So the three eighths will, you know, because yeah. that 25 feet of ice line, we can just like loop Ooh, around. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, shove her in there. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting weak. <laughs> All right, is it in? <laughs> I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, in that's in there. That's in there. <laughs> that's in there. All right, let's turn the water on. See if she leaks. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to turn the water on slowly. You don't want to just crank it open. Especially in these old polybutylene pipes. Stay tuned for a future episode where Sam and I. We'll rip out all this polybutylene and install PEX. And I'll explain why polybutylene's bad. Whoosh, beautiful, beautiful. So now you'll see here we have our water line poking through the floor. We have our valve over here. So now we just have to hook these two together and then we should have water to our dishwasher. You remove the nut and ferrule. Get those out of the way, you can just throw those away. You do need those for like copper line or plastic line, but we have our braided steel line where you don't need the nut and the ferrule. Can you, uh? hold this line from spinning if it spins it'll kink so these you want pretty snug there's a rubber grommet in there that seals it gasket yeah not super tight but you can give them you know give them a good little oomph. and uh so now that that's together everything's together upstairs we should be able to turn the water on turn it on so you want to turn it on slowly yeah you never want to just open up valves you always want to go slow Okay, let's go see if there's any, any water on the floor. Looks pretty good. Beautiful. So yeah, before we went down there and did all that, we tightened up both of these joints here so that they would not leak. Yeah, so next step is getting this drain hooked up to there. The last piece of the puzzle here, connecting our extended dishwasher line. Chloe. Uh, cocoa, <laughs> cocoa bean. <laughs> I love Sweet Beach. So we're just connecting the drain pipe and then we'll plug in the dishwasher and run it. And yes, those are technically two potentially female fittings, but it is uh, completely okay to do it this way. According to Sam, but we don't know anything and we're not licensed in anything. So <laughs> consult your local plumber. You don't want these too tight because you'll crush it and then it'll leak. Oh yeah, don't want that. No. She's been plugged in got power the lights turned on for a second they're off now but uh, so you always want to make sure that there's nothing like this <laughs> get all this stuff yeah get all that stuff out closer turn on she's making noise this is scary <laughs> yeah plumbing is scary <laughs> <laughs> what do you think chloe did we do it right? Inspector's taking a look. So now it's full. Yeah. Because uh, you can hear it kind of starting to cycle. Okay. Um, so we're going to hit cancel. So we're going to cancel, drain. So we'll start draining and now we can test our drain and make sure that nothing's leaking. Should be able to see it go through this clear pipe here. There it goes. Oh yeah, you can see it right there. This is the joint where it opens. We're concerned about. She's all hooked up. Seems to be not leaking. Did pretty good. And that's how you hook up a dishwasher that is on the other side of the room from the sink. <laughs> <laughs> pretty straightforward. We got kind of lucky. The positioning of this just happened to line up with the, the drain almost perfectly for us. The only problem we had being the oversight that it was a half inch pipe instead of a three quarter. Big announcement. We have started a down of the frame podcast so check that out on spotify apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts it'll be there huge shout out to sam for helping me out welcome to the channel sam 
I hope that uh, all of our plumbing adventures will be fun. And dry. And dry. <laughs> <laughs>